Okay. First card, the essence, is the Ten of Pentacles. Pentacles, uh, thought, money, motion. Uh, the Ten is the completion of something. Uh, this looks like around your family and your home. So uh, most likely it's time to get to those projects in the home. Uh, whether it's painting or decluttering, going through closets, might even be shifting homes from one to another. But now's the time to focus a bit on uh, moving some energy out of your house. Whether it's tidying it up, moving it out, creating a new space. But it looks like um, lots of projects around the home that would make you much happier if they were off your plate. So, uh, Scorpio, get to all those projects. Um, some could be hobbies. Uh, I know you are one of the most passionate signs. So, it uh, could be your hobby, your passion. Um, but it's centered around your home. So, doing some of those projects, completing some of these things, moving that energy out of your house to bring it more up to present time. Um, and bring the vibration level to where you like it a little bit better. So that is coming up. What crosses you is the five. Five of swords. And this looks like some, some communication issues. It looks like a battle that you've had to walk away from. Um, most likely it was uh, surrounding the home or in the home or something that is on the top of your head in your awareness to make the home a little bit more comfortable. But this looks like a discussion that didn't necessarily go very well. A lot of static involved where there was a winner and a loser. Um, sometimes it's better just to walk away, get your space from that and um, and then try to communicate from a pure heart uh, with love and kindness but it looks like a disagreement that's kind of ongoing in the home um, or about the home um, and that looks like it is continuing you know with the eclipse and uh, all the eclipse energy and all the energy and saturn and all the energy <laughs> with mercury um, it makes it a little difficult to have clear, concise communication. So um, you may have to take your leave from this for a little bit and revisit it. But it looks like just two people coming at an issue from two different directions and not really comprehending where the other one is coming from. Could be within a relationship space, could be a parent, child, siblings. Um, but this is around the home and the family. So it looks like just a, a, a major disagreement that um, working on the resolve, but it is not resolved yet. So what is above you is the Four of Pentacles. And this is a time of contemplation, of reflection, of really figuring out what you want, how you want to get it, and then moving forward. It does require kind of blocking out um, the normal everyday things, just taking some time to yourself, Scorpio, um, and doing some self-care, self-healing, and really doing some reflection. There's been a huge amount of change in the air lately, and it's already happening, so you can choose to do nothing, which is a choice, um, but I would suggest and advise to really take a look at what will make you happy and make that first step into making that change the first step um, into movement. So take the time to really, really connect with the God of your heart, with the spirit, with your spirit, and find out what you want to do the next couple of years. And then put that first foot forward in doing it. So what is something in the past, which is probably um, a part of your awareness, you're probably processing this right now, looks like... Um, big misunderstanding, um, tension, 
and a challenge a challenge this may be the ending of a friendship the ending of a uh, romantic relationship but it's something that's changing and something that you've known you needed to change for a long time and you know if you don't change it spirit comes in with the tower and kind of destroys things so you'll pay attention so this is lessons through destruction um the tower is lessons through destruction so um Better take a look at that stuff because it's already changing and it looks like it's already a part of your awareness, the uncomfortableness of the situation. So start to speak your truth. Make those changes for you. Um, do those things that you've been afraid to do. Just push through the fears and do it anyway. So, yeah, the tower can be very destructive. Um and it's usually things that we've known we've needed to change for a very long time if you're living in a house that's unhealthy or you're in a toxic relationship or a job that does not serve you doesn't pay you enough or is is you can't meet your needs with it those are the things that the tower comes in and destroys so it, and it, a good example is if you don't like your job the tower comes in and you either get fired, laid off, whatever, but spirit knows you're not supposed to be in that job. You're not growing, you're not learning, you're being taken advantage of in some way. So spirit will come along and kind of destroy that job. And most of the time, the next job you get or the next house you get, the next relationship you get is much more in line with your growth and your happiness. So that's what's happening take a look at those things that you know you have to change and change them and um because the tower is right here so it's changing already for you make those changes ace of wands this is movement this is fire this is taking a leap of faith aces are high and exalted what is on our karmic level to do our destiny level to do so it looks like you are embracing something that you've always wanted to do for a really long time so that's a wonderful card in the present position scorpio so you are you're doing it you are doing it and you're moving it so put down the fear and jump into it if it works out great if it doesn't you can always try something else but try all those projects do all take the first step into the things you've always wanted to do ever since you know you can remember you've wanted to write a book for example um, start writing that book start you know doing those projects start if you want to be a photographer start taking pictures you must start at something in order for it to move so it looks like you've taken a jump into it so don't be scared, just continue to do it and you will be fine because it is your destiny and you have lots of information to share. Lots and lots of information. This feels like it's information out in either socially um, or um, on the web or with friends, but this is something about you giving information, giving a service, giving a talent of some kind and creating that so um, you can uh, make that your life purpose and also um, create some finances with it. But it's, it's something that you've always wanted to do. So please, beautiful Scorpio, jump in there and do it. Do the thing you always wanted to do. Take a chance. Knight of Cups. Cups are water signs. Um, so that would be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, knights are usually someone younger than 40. So this is someone coming into your awareness. Um, it looks like the cup is lighting up for me uh, and they are gifting you something, whether it is a job or some help getting your project off the ground, um, whether it's a business, um, a new job, but someone is there to assist you and they have some knowledge um, even though they are uh, younger, it looks like uh, under 40, 
uh, but it's it's almost like a new mentor or someone that is bringing some information to you. So um, this feels male. Uh, so male water sign again. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, so it is someone that will be aiding you or helping you move into uh, your passion and move into that either new career, new endeavor, new business, new job, new passion, new skill, whatever it is, this person has some information for you and can aid in creating or facilitating this to be more successful. So what is on the basis of all this? Oh, it's time for a little bit of celebration, Scorpio. You have been diligent and doing a lot of things. Life has really gone lickety-split for um, most all signs, and you are no exception. So now is the time to really connect with those of your heart, the, uh, the friends, the family, the people that are like-minded. So start accepting some of those invitations and get out in the world a little bit and celebrate. Celebrate life. I know that it's been a little dark and dreary um, on the planet with all the tumultuous things that are happening um, politically and in other countries. So they're still there. They're not going away. Um, for the most part, so put them on the back shelf for a moment and really enjoy yourself. Go connect with those people that have been wanting to go out in the world and play with you, Scorpio. So go play a little bit um, and enjoy your time. Enjoy your time with the like mind people. Also looks like some energy coming from the past, connecting with um, a friend, a loved one, exes. Uh, someone you haven't heard from in a long time, I believe, will be contacting you this month of September. Um, spending a little bit more time um, with each other and just rekindling, reconnecting, things like that. So the next card, the Wheel of Fortune, and this is a major arcana. This is a wonderful card. Um, it is a completion card as well. It's a 10. It is the ending of, of a cycle. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it can go one way or the other. Whatever you put your energy into, if you put your energy into a fearful place, into negative energy, that's what will be um, given back in tenfold. So uh, put your energy into the positiveness and the motions of things and being around people that... Um, or more like-minded and that are kind and loving and nurturing, encouraging. So if you put your energy into the positive, it will be amplified tenfold. If you put your energy into fears and negativity, that it will also be amplified tenfold. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it can go either way. It's up to you to choose to stay on your path and to choose help healthy helpful behaviors so really take a look and when you are moving into choices and moving into new things pick the higher road keep your integrity um, and speak from your heart and speak speak your truth so the wheel of fortune it's a great car but it, it's also up to you whatever you put out there in the world is what you will get back tenfold so the next card is the Two of Swords. And just as it, it, it depicts, there is something that you're not paying attention to, Scorpio. It's right in front of your face, but you're not really paying attention to it. You're very guarded, almost like shut down around this situation. So um, take off that blindfold. Look at it honestly. Speak your truth um, and listen as well but there's something right in front of you that you're ignoring so it's no longer time to ignore it it is on the same line as the tower so whatever you are ignoring will explode in your face if you don't pay attention to it acknowledge it and move it out move it out anything is resolvable but we must talk about it we must move the energy we must 
um, do something different. Do something different for it to change for our betterment. So, take off the blinders and take a look, Scorpio. All right, the culmination card is the six, the six of cups. Got a few cups in here, so some emotions running deep. Um, having some feels, shall we say. But this looks like it's around the home. And it's becoming a much happier place for you. This was also a home card. So it's becoming a much happier place. As you move the energy out, as you change things in the home, and sometimes it may be even physically changing that home to a different home. Um, but making those changes will lighten your load a little bit. And it's always nice to come home to a house that feels comfortable and secure and um, welcoming to you. So it looks like you have been working on this project for a while. So keep going. Don't give up. Um, and with each step and with each thing that is cleared out, with each thing that you let go and change, you will get validated that you're on the right path more and more uh, happiness around your home, more healing around your home, and a welcoming place for you and others. The Ace of Cups, you have two uh, Aces in here. Cups are emotions, of course. Uh, aces are exalted. So now it's time to really embrace your love space, your kindness, and give to yourself. It looks like you really give a lot to others. You really, really give a lot to others. And it's okay to give to others as long as you're giving to yourself and you're not all zapped out. So please remember to give to yourself um, a little body awareness. Give your body what it needs for a, a healthy, healthier lifestyle. But um, make sure and replenish your batteries. And if we give it all away, then we have nothing for ourselves. But you are ready to do some self-care, uh, ready to heal some ills. And it looks like this may be on a physical level, Scorpio. So um, check out your health. Change what you can. Um, don't ignore certain signs on a physical level. And take care of yourself emotionally. Take care of yourself emotionally. If you need to connect with, with a friend and talk things out, I encourage you to do so. No isolating, Scorpio. Get out there in the world. Connect with others. Speak your truth. Um, but this also will make you a little more mentally happier is um, when you speak from the heart and um, really give to yourself give to yourself and I don't mean on a selfish manner but make sure and take care of you you know make sure and take care of you As, as specifically something about your health I'm feeling it in the chest area uh, for many of you so um, and it, it may just be easy as uh, giving up coffee or drinking coffee. There's something you need to change in the diet, in the exercise, in movement. There's something you need to change to um, make your body a little healthier. Um, now is a pretty intense time astrologically. So a lot of folks are all of a sudden having some medical problems or just taking care of things that, that they didn't take care of on a physical, healthy level. So it looks like the Seven of Wands here, um, feeling a little backed into the corner, um, feeling a little bit um, pushed to do things that you're uncomfortable about doing or just wanting to change um, a situation that has been set up that really doesn't benefit you that much. It doesn't benefit you and you're really feeling like you've been cornered, you're on the edge of the of the world here. Um, so put down that log of defense. Take some time to really think about how you can change this to better all involved. But it really looks like either you're being taken for granted or there's some manipulation or someone else's fear is guiding what you're doing as in responsibilities. So take a look at what's yours and what isn't. 
and um, put down that role of responsibility for those who are very capable of handling it for themselves. So it's really about looking at our fears at this time. All signs are looking at our fears and looking past them. How do we move past them? So you are no exception, Scorpio. That is also happening with you. So it's really time to take a look honestly at what serves you and what doesn't and to change what you can change and leave the rest. So that is your September reading. Let me get some more clarity. These are wonderful past life legacy cards that I got from one of my sisters on the big island of Hawaii. Aloha, my precious scorpion sisters. So, all right. Let us look at what's happening here. Well, you got three, so we're going to take a look at it. Spirituality and religion, father, and the arts. Okay, those are all very heavy but different. Spirituality and religion, this just validates that you're looking within, finding out what is working for you in the bigger picture, what isn't, how to incorporate um, spirit, whether you are religious, whether you are atheist, it's uh, finding what drives our passion. Uh, most people call it religion and spirituality and knowing that there's something bigger than we are. So Scorpio, tap into that beautiful magic that you have, that spirituality or religion that you have, and ask for help and for guidance. If you don't really know which way to go with your choices, ask for guidance and ask for help from the spirit world or your religious world, if that's the avenue that you choose. Father, this looks like some legacy stuff that you're looking at. Uh, the positive things you receive from your father and the negative things that you receive from your father or, or the sire or the male figure of your life. Um, take what was positive and leave what isn't. And truly leave it. Do not incorporate it into your personality, into your your nuclear family that you have created. So it's really time to look at father figures honestly, what works for you, what doesn't, um, what you were told, and what you actually know. So um, take a look at that father legacy and release anything that is not accurate or doesn't serve you and embrace the behaviors and the positive things that was gifted to you from your father figure, your sire, your male figure. The arts, it is time. It is time for you to get into your magic, Scorpio. Uh, whether that is music, whether it's painting, whether it's writing. For me, it it's pottery. So, and it's something that I have not done in quite a while. So, I encourage you to figure out what your art is. Figure out your passion in addition to anything that you do at work that is just for you, that is your heart song, that helps you find your smile. And it's time now, Scorpio, to find your smile.